too rude to ask you about your, your amazing, beautiful dress. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah, it is I believe yeah. it's so. I took advantage of my sister who just came back from Iraq. Oh, and I, so I told her, listen, I'll buy you clothes, buy me some clothes. Because if you buy these kind of stuff here, it's two to three hundred dollars. Well, yeah. yeah. uh, this is from Morocco. Apparently, it's the, you know. Oh. Yeah, this is from Morocco. Yeah. And she got me a whole lot of dresses. So you'll be seeing them. I have some purple ones. Wow. But it's, this one is a uh, traditional uh, Moroccan. Oh. Uh, Absolutely stunning. Yeah, very nice. Very wonderful. Very wonderful. Now it makes me wish I was going to. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I got a really good deal. Although I don't want to tell people they're going to talk about you to buy some more. Yes. Thank you. It is stunning. So guys, uh, we've got 10 minutes left. So um, would our teachers want to, it's an optional for, for Candace and Susan, you, you guys, uh, end of the open mic, would you like to finish off the afternoon with a poem each? Yes. Would you like? You don't yes. have to. It's yes. Just, uh, we want to do that. More. Great. So Thanks who would for like asking. to go first? <laughs> Shall I go first? You. Go ahead. Great. Right. Fantastic. Come on <laughs> up. And this should take you directly to four o'clock, I mean. All right. I believe that most poetry... <clears throat> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How you doing? It's about sex. Woo! <laughs> So I'm going to read, I think I'll read Lusting. Let me find out where it is in here. It's in here I know. It's one of my favorites. I, I don't know, oh yeah, there it is, 29. Uh, so this, in fact, <laughs> I was doing a reading from the, uh, from the painting book. And uh, I said to people, just tell me a number, page number, and I'll, I'll read a poem. And the numbers kept turning up these sex poems. And I said, do I write about anything else? Uh, possibly not. So anyway, the pleasure of lusting after you is to stroke with my finger the hollow beside your eye. So lightly you only shift and turn in your sleep. Hmm. A small, satisfied sound, and your arm drops across me in sleepy caress and fits. Under its weight, the arch leaves my back. I become soft as the sheet, waver down your snore. <laughs> or to lie, blanket to chin, while you warm last night's coffee. Lie with one knee turned out. Fingers idling, casual as the stroke for the cat, who sometimes rumbles beside us as we toss, feeling everything become supple, fluid, a watery terrain. And then to pull you down to me, turn with one motion from back to front, close my hands around your ankles, Close the triangle as you rock me from below, as we climb a long, slow wave to the top, glide down. What pleasure then to drift into dream of rocking together up wave after wave, or to wake, cup palm around your shoulder while you doze beside me, watching Two small, sleek blackbirds and the tree outside the window whistle and cream. Roll again over you. <laughs>